Good morning, folks. You are watching a sped up video taken by a tourist group. It's lava in Hawaii spilling out into the sea. Also got some shots of Etna we'll add at the end. New Zealand is rocking this morning. I suppose it's evening for you guys, but two moderate quakes have hit in my first hour awake today. Larger quakes continued in Iran and the Kamchatka Peninsula, but the bigger story is in the Western world. Anything over 4.0 in the Caribbean is above average, like that 4.8. And the same goes for the California coastline, which was certainly rumbling more than usual yesterday. Interesting note on the quakes, we are five days since any real readings in the Canary Islands. As you watch the global satellite data with various enhancements, know that the links beneath this video are comprehensive for covering every inch of the globe and the severe threats coming. You have to take at least some responsibility for your own awareness, and I'll use my homeland today to give an example. You see yesterday's convergence watch zone, pop-up storms pretty visibly there. The low pressure hasn't moved and it's got a strong counterclockwise drive in the northern hemisphere as seen from above. Here it is extended north and south in more of an oval area of convergence and locals here must keep watch tonight. Solar wind metrics are falling, especially the speed and temperature in yellow and green. Magnetic disturbance is waning, but the plasma penetration remains. That's a sign of a weak shield as the macro level storm is over had a bit of instability going through the wake of yesterday's glancing blow. The radiation storm has ended as well, but elevated readings just below official storm levels still produce red on the DRAP. Well folks, it's time to look at flaring. I know many were expecting the earth facing quiet to end with last week's surge in activity, but as has been true for two years, the earth killed the sunspot. It retains its leading delta spot as it fades, but folks, can you ask for a better example of earth-facing sunspot quiet? Nothing for two days. Got some new spots creeping in on the south and up north. You can actually see the arcs and loops from that one headed this way just beyond view. Folks, this is every six-pointer since the last week of April. We should have had about double this amount to be average. And the last major quake watch was May 3rd to 11th, and while three of those quakes did fall in that time, that is not really an uptick indeed. We considered it the first failed major watch of 2013. Yesterday, I was straining to consider another watch upcoming. Now, the umbral field is open, and for sure, we do see a sizable coronal hole coming in, but it's not massive and not near the solar equator, not to mention that the lower corona umbral fields do not appear as open as the larger ones. No chance for a second factor of the planetary nature for almost a week. There is CME impact expected later today from that M flare. The energetic flux still present. We'll have to call a minor watch as we check some more shots of Mount Etna. Also got some shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.35 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.